are in <laughs> Hi, we're Dan and Marisa. At the start of August, we packed our bags and set off for the biggest adventure of our lives. We did it! We are through! We're currently navigating the minefield that is Covid travel. With no real plans, we aim to document our way around our journey and bring you as much information as we can. For our very first stop, we landed in the Spanish capital of Madrid. We stayed on the main street in the centre of Madrid called the Gran Valle. India Hotel. The hotel was in a perfect location and all the main attractions we wanted to see were in walking distance. We didn't need to use a taxi throughout our whole stay. There's literally so much to do in Madrid you could spend weeks here but we're limited on time. In this video we'll cover the highlights of Madrid. First up, Mercado de San Miguel, Madrid's indoor food market. I'm do a little snooze now but no, got some exploring to do. All excited. We found Madrid to be really reasonable when it comes to price. For a European capital city, we're surprised at how affordable eating out was. For around 30 euros, you can have a meal, and a pint of beer costs around 3 to 4 euros in most places. The cost of public transport was also really cheap. As you can see, it looks absolutely stunning. So it's extremely hot today. So we've come, we've got a baguette, we've got some um, hams and cheeses, and we're gonna have a picnic. So we're really excited about that. But what I'm most excited about is to get on these boats. How amazing does that look? Park. This park's absolutely stunning though. It's it's a bit like Hyde Park in London or even like Central Park in, in New York. So it's only a stone's throw away from the actual city. We walk from the centre and it's just a completely different vibe. So the city's pretty pretty vibrant, pretty, pretty lively. And you come to here and it's got people sleeping and chilling and in the centre. Having picnics and then in the rowboats, aren't they? Which we're going on next. Yeah, when we get when it stops, when the sun stops beating down. We're going to have a go on the rowboats, but why it's like this, I am not going on no boat. The, the sun will not come beating down. It's I'll be, Spain. I'll have to get rescued. Sea rescue will have to come and fetch me off that boat. I've come to get on the boat, but it looks like it's closed at the minute. So I've just looked on the website and the boats are the opening times 10 till 2. Then they have a break till half three till eight then, so the next time we can go is half three. We are in our rowboat! So only one person is able to row and obviously... Shock horror. He stepped up to the task. However, I do feel like I could do a bit better. <gasps> no, we are going to go crash in a minute though. We're going into the wall. Right. That's it. Oh, but this is so lovely. I think it's your rowboat. 
How much was it? Not too bad, is it? Yeah, very good value. What are you looking forward to most, wine or tapas? <gasps> That's a very hard decision. We're not big wine advocates, are we? No, I like a red wine, but I think I'm going to be more excited about the food. But then the wine, no, the food, yeah, the food. <laughs> The wine and tapas tour lasted for three hours and started at 7pm. We were taken to four different restaurants and each place had a selection of tapas dishes and wine. Our guide Carlos was brilliant. He explained the background and the history of the Spanish tapas dishes and wines on offer. He also spoke about the history of the restaurants and why these ones were so popular and famous within Madrid. There was so much food on offer we couldn't finish our dishes and it was well worth the 65 euros each it cost. This was definitely the highlight to our short stay in Madrid. Whilst we stayed in Madrid, we also visited the Prado Art Museum, which was worth every cent. And we also toured the Royal Palace. Both these are within 10 minutes walking from Gran Valle and really great attractions. That brings us to the end of our first destination on our travels. We hope you stick around with us feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave a comment if you have any recommendations on places we should visit. Take care, and we'll see you at the next stop-off.